what's up guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i created these super pretty peachy bling acrylic gel hybrid nails today i'm just going to be using some stuff that i already have i haven't done an acrylic set and for like ever so i wanted to like really get some use out of my acrylics so that's what we're going to be doing today we're just jumping right on in um, since this is an acrylic set, I did prep my nails off camera and I applied a thin layer of pink acrylic. I used Jasmine Torres Nails Queen Pink to my nails. Um, you always want to do that. You can use clear or pink, whatever color you decide to use. Um, but you always want to put a little bit of acrylic on your nails before you start um, to protect your natural nails from staining from like your colored acrylics and stuff like that so i'm going to start by painting the tips of all of the nails with this milky gel polish color from madam glam it's called strawberry milk it's a peachy milky shade with fine gold glitters in it i'm obsessed with this color this is one of my favorite shades from their milky collection I'm just obsessed with it and I haven't done a peachy set on my channel um, I don't think so I felt like doing one um, I felt like this was one of the colors that I never really got around to um, doing so yeah that's what we're doing today um, so I did cure that for 60 seconds and now I'm going in with this glitter acrylic from sugar and cream called diamonds it's a clear acrylic with fine AB glitters in it. It's really pretty. I'm just kind of like taking a wet bead and kind of just brushing it over the tips of all the nails just to give it like a little bit more of a hint of glitter so that you could really see that sparkle and everything once they're encapsulated. Um, the gel polish does have glitters in it, but I wanted more of a sparkle. And sorry if you could hear the thunder in the background. Like literally it wasn't thundering all day until I had to do my voiceover, of course. So excuse that. But anyways, now I'm going to be taking this other glittery acrylic from Secret Nail Affair. This is from their Mary Posa collection. I've had this one for a while. It's called Bella. It's like an orange butterfly um, acrylic. It has like little orange mylar pieces in it and different glitters along with some um, clear butterflies. They're kind of like iridescent. So I'm applying this onto the pointer fingernail and the ring fingernail just up by the cuticle area and kind of like going off to the side. Um, I was just doing like a random little type of freestyle set. Um, I just wanted a really nice peachy base for all the nails. The main thing I'm going to be doing is applying the bling on it which will really like tie everything together and make everything pop you know so i am working with my acrylic a little bit wetter because i feel like especially with glitter acrylics um, it gives you more time to like move the glitter pieces around on the nail without it setting too fast On the next two nails, I decided I'm just going to use more of this queen pink shade from Jasmine Torres to kind of do an ombre, just fading this pink color into the tip color. So I'm using some small beads to do that um, because I don't want to thicken up the nails too much because like I mentioned earlier, I have to encapsulate these. Um, so I usually put my first bead like kind of like right under the cuticle and blend it down and then the next one I apply by the cuticle area and just blend it over that and down into the tip. I'm also going to be going over the entire nail with more of that um, glittery shade from Sugar and Cream called Diamonds so that the whole nail looks sparkly.
All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate all of the nails with my Mia Secret Clear Acrylic. By the way, I'm using my Beauty Galleria acrylic brush in the size 12, which I do have linked in my Amazon store along with the nail tips and stuff that I use, everything for nail prep, if you were wondering. Um, and here goes the thunder again, like what is going on? Every time I go to do my voiceover, it's like all thundering and it's like downpouring outside right now. like just my luck but anyways try to ignore that um so yeah i usually do a three bead method and excuse my acrylic brush it's well loved i need to get a new one but like i mentioned i haven't done acrylic in a while so i really haven't gotten around to getting a new one because i feel like i don't really do it that much but i am gonna try to start doing it more because i have a bunch of acrylic and yeah i really love acrylic nails i actually started doing acrylic before poly gel became like popular um i don't know acrylic was always my first love i feel like i'm a little bit rusty that i haven't really been doing acrylic so yeah i definitely need to jump back into like doing more acrylic sets more often because i really don't like that feeling um i don't think i did too bad but like i feel like i don't know i just feel like i'm not like on point like i was before anyways so i usually encapsulate by doing a three bead method and then kind of looking at the nail afterwards and just adding in acrylic where i need it so my first bead i apply it to like the lower half of the nail i kind of like visualize the nail in three parts so the first bead is right under the small line and i use that to build up the free edge of the nail um, and then the second bead is right at the small line, which I use that to start building my apex. So I'm kind of focusing it in the area that I put it and kind of just lightly blending it down into the tip because you want to focus the acrylic mainly where you put it. Don't like brush it down because then it's going to move from where you want it to be, if that makes sense. And then my third bead is um, by the cuticle. I usually start by placing it right under the cuticle and then patting it up so it doesn't flood the cuticle. And I kind of just like brush over the nail to make sure it's nice and smooth. And like I said, I go back in and add acrylic where I need to. I just kind of look at the nail from different angles. This acrylic was performing a lot better now that I have an AC in my nail room before it was kind of like drying a little bit fast it was a lot easier to work with this time Pick up the phone, show me it was real. Pick up the phone, show me it was real. Pick up the phone, 
gon' show me it was real. Pick up the phone. Yeah, I don't wanna put no pressure on ya. I just wanna put a blessing on ya. Since our last undressing session, I'm not really sure if you've been checking. I'm progressing. I just heard my songs is popping out in Macedonia and even Serbia. I don't mean to burden ya. If you got a man, sister, I understand. Last thing I wanna do is get you. Okay, so now that the base on all of the nails is done, I'm going to go ahead and start debulking them and the thunder is just going and going and going like I have redone this voiceover part like 10 times already because every time I start talking it just starts thundering so I'm just fed up at this point. I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> but anyways, I start by debulking my nails first. I'm using a fine grit ceramic drill bit and my favorite nice bowl two-in-one e-file and lamp it's like a portable nail drill so i like to start by debulking if you watch my channel you already know i like to debulk first and then do my shaping because it comes out nice and sharp and lasts longer so i'm going around the cuticle area with this drill bit i can get pretty close to the cuticle so i don't really need to go in with a cuticle bit um, and then I'm just smoothing over the nail to make sure everything's nice and smooth. There's no lumps or anything. You could take your finger and feel over the nail and make sure there's no lumps or anything. Um, so yeah, I'm doing that, making sure to file underneath the nail along the side walls. The side walls should be the thinnest part of your nail. And you should have a little hill that's your apex. And of course your nail should be gradually thinner towards the free edge, but make sure there is some thickness there so that um, they don't snap and break. Um, the reason I do the three bead method is because you get like the perfect apex and you really don't have to do like a lot of filing in the end. Um, you basically just have to smooth over the nails.
And now I'm gonna go ahead and shape up the nails with my hand file. I'm using my 100 win 80 grit per usual. And I'm doing a long coffin shape. So right now I'm taking the bulk off of the sides of the nail. I'm holding my file straight and taking the bulk off of the sides until I'm satisfied with the overall width of the nails. And then to taper in the tip to get that coffin shape, you want to angle your file in and just file in towards the tip until you're satisfied with, I guess, how wide the tip is. Um, if you wanted them really narrow, you would really have to file the tip inward. Sometimes I do take my drill and kind of like file along the sides to kind of like pre-shape them before I go in with my hand file. Um, and then I just take my buffer and buff out the scratches after I'm done. To finish everything up, I'm gonna go ahead and add bling to my nails. I feel like after I did this, everything came together and everything really popped. So I wanted to use some gold charms, pearls, and like some AB rhinestones and butterflies. 
Um, I felt like these complemented the base on the nails very well, especially peach and gold. They go really good together. Um, so I'm applying my bigger charms first with some Beatles rhinestone gel so that they stay on. Um, and then I'm going to kind of like flash cure as I go. And then I'm going to apply the rhinestone gel to the entire nail with top coat and apply the smaller stones into the gel and cure them in place. And once I cure everything, I do top coat over like all of the um, little pearls and the clear um, AB rhinestones, the ones with like no backing because they tend to lose their coating after a while of washing your hands and stuff, especially the metal ones. I top coat those as well. Um, and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like this set. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe before you leave because I post nail tutorials and reviews every week. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you guys.